Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Miss Yuri Intan Sari. With study ID number 2005110621. From 3A class, listening and speaking with this portal lecturer that I is mature of education. I made this video to fulfill a listening and speaking class assignment. Now my speaking part is by answering some questions for one until three. Okay, I will start speaking part this. Part one. Well, in this section, I want to ask you a few more questions about yourself. Okay, let's talk about your hometown or village. What kind of place is that? I live in the village, where the village is remote and far from the city. The distance from my village to the city is about sixty minutes by a less than good road. There are also a few big shops that open here. What is the most interesting thing about your city or village? In the village, there is a cool view of the city, friendly and kind neighbors, and traditional activities that are carried out every year. What kind of work do people in your city or village do? In my village, there are many people whose livelihood is as all palm farmers and some work in the city. Do you think it's a good place to stay? Why? Yes, it turns out it's great, but this place has a lot of friendly and kind people, cool village feels, and lots of impressions of my usage in this village from childhood. This is the reason why I argue it's a good place to stay. So, let's move on to talk about accommodation. Tell me about the type of accommodation you live in. The accommodation I live in this village is a house. I'm comfortable living in this house because this is my home since I was born and it's very historic for me. How long have you lived there? I have lived in this village since I was in my mother's home until I am an adult now. What do you like about living there? The place is cool. Many of my relatives live here. The neighbors are kind and friendly. Where do you want to live the most? I don't want to move anywhere because I'm still comfortable living in this village forever. The next part, okay? Remember you have a minute or two for this. So don't worry if I stop you. I will let you know when the time is up. Okay. Describe something you have that's very important to you. You have to say that. And can you start talking now? Yes, one of the most important things I have is a carry from my mother, my father. I got this train because my father bought it for me to go to campus. So as long as I travel anywhere, I always use this train. This, this train is very comfortable for me to use. Where did you get it from? I got this train from my father when I was a freshman. How long have you had it? This train hasn't been that long, but it's only been with me for a year. What do you use it for? And? I travel a lot, and if I want to travel anywhere, I just use this train without having to order a Gojek. Explain why it is important to you. Uh, I think because this is a gift for my father that I have to take care of and use. The gift of my parents will be very meaningful and useful for me. So the next rounds the questions. Tell me about is it worth in terms of money? Oh, this item is very valuable in any way I spend in the form of money. Is it easy to replace it? I don't think it's easy uh, because to buy a vehicle requires quite a lot of money. The last part, we have talked about the things we have. I would like to discuss with you one or two other common questions related to this topic. First, let's consider the values and how they can change. In Indonesia, what are the things that give status to people in your country? The first thing that comes to my mind is technology, especially gadget. 
because many people in Indonesia who change only based on a gadget and application that's not good. From social media, many people commit crimes just for fame, satisfaction, and earn money. Is it a new development? I think technology is growing every year around the world. People have been thinking like that for a long time. Yes, another thing might be clothes. Many of the artists or celebrities on social media who use clothes that are too revealing. So it can be self-defeating. Has anything changed since your parents' time? As a side year later, all over the world, the chains are getting more and more visible from year to year, especially in technology. You don't think it's a healthy way of thinking? This might be dishonest because everyone's opinion is different. If the mindset of today's youth continues to be like this or unhealthy, then the younger generation of the nation's successors can be damaged and it's not like it used to be. Do you think this will change in the future? If the mindset and habits of the youth are to be changed from now on, then in the future, the change will be seen. So, can you tell me more about that? In the world of social media, there have been many criminal cases such as fraud, nothing, murder. There are also many people who indulge in their free fight, but just because of them. This is very sad when compared to the youth of antiquity. And then finally, let's talk about the rule of advertising. And do you think advertising affects what people buy? Yes, because one of the purposes of advertising is to promote products so that there are many buyers. Provide a review of the products so that customers do not choose the wrong choice to buy an item or product. Okay, that's all for me and I'm sorry for my mistake. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.